Hello and welcome back. Today I am going to share with you cooking lunch vlog. Here I am going to share with you my simple and easy lunch preparation. So here I have soaked some soya bean for some time. Now I will squeeze it and take it out into another bowl. I am preparing soya bean after a long long gap. Here I have taken a potato. Here I am taking a large size potato and will cut it into cubes. My potato and soya beans are ready to cook. Here I will prepare some masalas. Here I am taking 4 to 5 cloves of garlic and a piece of ginger now i will add garlic ginger and a medium size onion to my electronic chopper My chopping and cutting part is done. Now ready to cook. Food is more tasty if you cook it in iron karai. In my iron karai, I am adding some cumin seeds. Now I will add mustard oil. After that, I will add my chopped masalas that is onion ginger and garlic and will mix it nicely here i am chopping a medium size tomato also Now I will add chopped tomatoes also to my masalas and will mix it nicely. I will cook it until tomatoes are getting soft and mashy. After my tomatoes are getting soft and mashy, I will add soya bean and potatoes to it and mix nicely. Now it's time to add masalas. I will add cumin powder, coriander powder, turmeric powder and some sabzi masala as well. Mix everything nicely. I have mixed everything nicely but I will not add water immediately because Frying the sabzi is very important that flavor should come out from sabzi so I just keep the flame to medium and close the lid and let it cook for some time. My sabzi is getting ready and I will make my atta dough. I have added some ghee and some salt and I will make my atta dough by adding water little by little. When you are adding ghee to your dough then your roti or chapati or paratha whatever you make it will come very soft and tasty. Now we will check our sabzi. You can see our sabzi is nicely cooked and you can keep it like this also if you want to eat dry sabzi. I want to make gravy so I have added water to it and will cook until the potatoes are mashy and nicely cooked. I will keep my flame low or medium. My sabzi is almost done. Here I will mash some potatoes so that my gravy will 
become little thick. This sabzi is super delicious. You can serve it with rice, roti, paratha, whatever you like, you can serve it. I will quickly prepare my chapatis as well. My tawa is hot and I will flatten my dough and I will make my chapatis. My tawa is already hot and I will prepare chapatis one by one. My roti and sabzi already done. Here I have planned to prepare one suhi sabzi also. Here I am adding mustard oil to my iron karai and I am adding cauliflower, carrot and some green peas to it. I have cut these vegetables into very small pieces so that it will not take time to cook. I will cook it in low flame by closing the lid and after it cook 80% I will add salt and turmeric to it. This sabzi is really very yummy in our place it is called bhaji. In your place what it is called let me know in comment section below. So this sabzi is already ready. I have added salt and turmeric, no other masalas will be added. I have served some salad also with this thali. So this was my today's vlog, hope you enjoy it. If you enjoy it, please don't forget to like and subscribe and for some life updates, follow me on my Instagram.